What's going on everyone and welcome to another Friday video. Today I want to share with you a light that I found on Amazon that has really been working out really well for me and I thought I would share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and turn them on and take a look. So when I originally set up this tank, it was running with a Nano Phoenix LED clip light, which worked great on the previous setup, but with this tank being much larger, it just wasn't cutting it anymore. So I knew I needed some more lighting. A lot of the plants weren't growing to their best, and some of them were even dying back a bit. So after looking at a few different options, I came across these lights on Amazon, which are Lamini Asta 20 planted tank lights. And more specifically, these are the 16 watt version. I originally started out with just one, just to see how well it would do. Right from the start, I was blown away with how well the light did and how much better it even made the tank look. But as you can see, with just with one, it doesn't quite cut it for the tank. But since I liked it so much, I went ahead and went in for the second. And of course, having that second one on there made all the difference. Really brought the tank to life and made sure that all the plants in there were getting their fair share of light. But of course, other than what it makes the tank look like, the real judges are the plants. Since I put these lights in, I, I noticed an immediate rise in plant growth. The dwarf sag, which was doing pretty well before, started to go even crazier. The plants that really showed the best uptake were the baby tears and the bacopa. The baby tears was just kind of barely hanging on under the last light. And now, as you can see, it is pretty much filled in every space the dwarf sag hasn't. And the Bacopa was pretty much almost close to dead uh, since it was just struggling so much under the light and has now started to make a comeback. And also I can't forget the Ludwigia which was doing okay but not really spreading like it is now. And I am now even seeing a little more hints of red in the plant. So now that I've introduced you to the light, let's talk pros and cons. First off, the light comes with what I would guess is about a six foot cord. So pretty much no matter how tall your tank is, you pretty much have enough length to work with where you're not struggling to find plugs or having to mess with something like an extension cord. Second pro, the light is dimmable. So that if you want to play with the settings, you can easily do that. It comes with a small remote that has different settings, so you can change the power level to 20%, 40%, 80%, 100 and you can even play it with some of the other settings as well. The next big pro to this light is the added cooling fan that is inside of it. Not only does it keep the unit cool, but it also runs pretty darn quiet. These lights have been on for at least probably four or five hours at this time, and I can easily leave my hand on there without any trouble. It is cool to the touch. And to hear the fan, I pretty much have to get really up close to it, pretty much almost put my ear completely to it. Now the only major con I've really found with this light so far, which isn't even really a big one, is that the mounting bracket is pretty much made for a rimless tank. So if you have a rim tank like I do, you may have to make a little bit of adjustments on it. Uh, but even that was easy enough. It took about two minutes to cut into the rim and just kind of brace it a little bit. And lastly, I should mention that there is a Wi-Fi controller that is sold by the same company that works with these lights. But instead of doing those, I chose to use, if I can grab it without dropping it, uh, the uh, Casa Smart Wi-Fi plugs. Uh, these are specifically the minis. Uh, but this is what has been serving as my timer for these lights. The app is really easy to use and is pretty customizable. And as a bonus, I can check to see if my lights are on 
uh, when I'm even not at home. So overall, I am overwhelmingly pleased with the results these lights have been giving me with this tank, especially with them at a price tag of about $50 each on Amazon. They are doing really well. So far, I'm about three months into using them and really I have no complaints at all. I will put a link down in the description and in the comments below uh, in case any of you want to check out these lights. And as you browse that page, you should also see the links to their other freshwater lights and saltwater lights too. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next Friday video.